Um, this old power supply is uh, 550 watts. It uh, was used to power my dual AMD. And why do I want to modify it? Well, if you see here, it only has the old leads, only the Pension 4 lead and the standard HX. And uh, this uh, motherboard uh, was working fine. It was made so it could uh, could run without the additional plugs. But um, but uh, let's improve it so I can use it on newer motherboards. Uh, and actually, I have something already. Here, this old power supply come with an AUX plug, and uh, the AUX plug was actually used for dual AMD motherboards, but this one, this one does not have it. But um, anyway, the extra leads I will use to make the additional two plugs, and uh, if you see, uh, this one has uh, three ground leads. One 5 volts and two 3.3 volts, and the three ground leads will go to. Let's take a look. One here, one two, and here will be one. And the uh, 5 volt will also go to this, oh, to to this plug here, and the same goes for the 3.3 volt. Then there's uh, there was two 3.3 volts leads. And uh, the uh, the extra one will go to Shell HA power because uh, they I will take a standard one here and then chop this one off and then add serial HA A power which also comes with a 3.3 volt leads which is never used but uh, let's just use the plug anyway. Let's see this part here. I have chopped out. And where did it go? There we have it. And this one is from here. So I have uh, chopped the, the parts off. So I got two plugs here. So how did I get rid of the wires, which I'm going to add again? This is actually an important thing I want to show you. You can get these to uh, to bind flowers with, but they are also great for binding cables. I have uh, I taking the plastic off one of them, and then just bend it. And the reason why I'm using this piece of metal is it's extra thin, so I can use it to uh, to get rid of the connectors in a way, so I can reuse it again. So I can put it in one side, push it to one side, into the other side here, and there we go, it's off. Let me just show you this again, because I don't know how well it, this camera is in there. Then I pull the cable, take it off, in the other side, there we go. See, I did it in the first try with two. Then we have the two plugs. And here you have to use a similar technique, except that, um, well, see if you one put in a wire here, or something in here, then you can push to get it loose. But to do this, I had to use some thicker wire. See, I already have one black, but I need two blacks. Let's see if I can can do this. It was actually quite hard. So uh, let's see how it goes. Well, one ha can be lucky. The problem is actually I'm going to need the three yellow wires and uh, the power supply does not have that except if I take some of the moldex part off connectors but I'm not going to do that um, but I have spotted here on the print 
right here is the the, the 12 volts and there's actually a hole here so I intend to take three of the proper thickness wires through here and solder them on here to get additional power how does one make a zero ATA cable or any change it to it, change it to it well it depends on the plug how you can reuse it this is uh, I think it came with uh, one of my ASUS uh, motherboards so let's see there's a little tap here I need to pull there we go then I can remake this plug into something else as you see now if I just move the cables here I have now made an extra connector here and the same goes from for the 12 voltage here but if you noticed I am still missing the yellow cables uh, I'm missing half of the yellow cables which is 12 volt and the same goes for here I'm also missing one here so what I do have from is three extra wires which I'm going to solder onto the power supply, there's a little hole here where it can go through okay I'm done now I have uh, put on the extra wires and I'm done with the zero let's say wires see actually I have kept one molex on this pair of wires so I can use it for something else also so I will just assemble the power supply and then it's testing time. Okay, I'm now ready for the first part of the testing, which is just to power it on. I have short circuited the the power thingy here with a paper clip. The hard part actually here was to get all the cables in place because I have added more wires so uh, there's not anymore that much room I have done everything I think I should have done correctly but you don't know here goes oh wait I forgot to turn it on right here okay here it goes and it's on so I guess I didn't short circuit anything now we are ready to do the second test to see if it will uh, power on with a motherboard I have not uh, connected anything yet I want to fry as little as possible so uh, let's have a look I will just turn it on ready okay then let's turn on the PC if I can remember where I think it's at here hmm oh wait that was not the one that, this is the one okay nothing smoking yet so uh, here we have it uh, my dual AMD now with the proper power connectors ok the modification was a success here I have uh, booted the PC and we can actually see the voltages right here and um, well they're quite good so I guess that's ok this was a successful mod.